Wind. Ah. Rain. Yes. Birds. Okay. Experience three-dimensional sound with the Aperion Audio A5 height module. Immerse yourself with sounds like creaking boats overhead. Okay. The saliva of a xenomorph dripping down from the ceiling. Creepy. Helicopters and planes and sh**. Yeah. An actual flying pig soaring above you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stop you right there. Can we just start the episode, please? What's up, people? My name is Elon Osborne, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. And if you also like that kind of stuff, like, subscribe, hit that bell, join, wear, listen, print, and or read to help support this channel. Link in description. Today I'll be reviewing the Aperion Audio A5 height modules. The versatile speakers that can be used not only for Atmos. More on that in a minute. But first, what's in the box? Zip, zip, zip. Gloves, don't smudge it up. Reading, yay. Microfiber to clean. Whoop, oh, looks like they got stuck. Magnetic grills. Woohoo. And here's the speaker itself. Woofer and tweeter all in one. Nice. Got some binding posts in the back. Gold plated. Sorry for the stupid angle. Clearly I misjudged that. Oh well. The A5 height module features a concentric driver design with a 1 inch tweeter housed inside a 5.25 inch woofer, RF molded curved cabinets to reduce internal standing waves, and of course removable magnetic grills. They measure 7.1 inches wide, 5.7 inches high, and 7.9 inches deep. They weigh a solid seven and a half pounds, which is only two and a half pounds less than their bookshelf speakers, which is impressive. As far as aesthetics goes, they come in pure white or stealth black. What's great about the design is that they can be placed in a number of positions. Place them on top of a flat top speaker for upward firing height effects, mount them on a wall directed inward, on the ceiling directed downward, on a wall directed outward, or even placed on a desk or TV stand. And if you do want to mount them, Aperion does sell these stealth wall brackets that are so low profile that they are virtually hidden from view. And now, a few more detailed specs. Moving on. How do they sound? Great! Uh... Thanks. Be sure to like and subscribe, just kidding. I mean, the first part is 100% true. They sound amazing. I mean, sure, they only dip down to 120 hertz, so they're obviously not full range, but what they do reproduce is crystal clear, yet neutral, which is Aperion Audio's standard. A word of advice, though? Uh-oh. Since I'm just testing these out, I wasn't about to put more holes in my walls and ceilings than I already have. So I rested them on top of the towers up front and on the bookshelves in the back so that I could listen to them as upward firing speakers. And it was pretty good. But that's honestly just because I have 10 foot ceilings. That's a lot of distance to go up and hit the ceiling and come back down to my listening position. Considering that Atmos effects usually translates to just wind, rain, planes flying overhead, enhancing the echoes or reverberation of a particular scene just to add to the immersion. So with those effects being so subtle, I would honestly recommend using any upward firing speakers if you have eight foot ceilings. Nine feet, you still might be able to get away with it if you have powerful Atmos speakers like the Aperion A5, but little upward firing speakers like you might find with your more expensive soundbar systems? Forget about it. But fear not! Like I said, these are versatile speakers. So if you can mount them on the ceiling, do it. Or say you got a gigantic vaulted ceiling, take advantage of the angled slope of these speakers and mount them above the TV as front height channels pointed down at you, 
And for rear height channels, you might be able to mount them up high to the sides of the main listening position pointing down at you. But say you don't want to use the A5 height modules as Atmos speakers at all. What? With the aid of a subwoofer and a receiver, these could be used as a great solution to a moderately priced 5.1 system. Or also with the help of an integrated amplifier and a subwoofer like the Bravus 8D for example, these could be used in a high quality 2.1 system. The possibilities are endless. Please don't. Bottom line is these are another great addition to the Novus family of speakers from Aperion Audio. Everyone's living room or home theater space is different. So it is very convenient that these A5 height modules can be placed or mounted in many different ways or in any direction to help match your needs. And along with no home theater space being the same, the people at Aperion Audio love a good challenge. So you can call or email them with any question, big or small, and they will be more than willing to work things out with you step by step to help custom tailor a home theater system that is perfect for you. Try doing that in a big box store. So there you have it folks. Are the A5 height modules a needed addition to your home theater space? If so, don't forget to use my discount code EO10 at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something along the way. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and join my Patreon. And of course, always be listening.